Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carl's Tidbits. Um, in this episode, it's another The Novice Grows section. Anyone who's been following it knows that I've been helping Carl out in the allotment for the last few months, or the last couple of years actually, and this year I'm taking on some of my own growing in the allotment. Today we're going to be planting a selection of uh, squash, so we've got Pacific giant winter squash here. We've also got spaghetti squash, blue banana winter squash and winter buffy ball squash. A selection of courgettes, so we're doing trombosino, a yellow golden courgette, safari courgette, oh sorry this is another squash, this is an avalon squash and yuchika curry. I cannot say that, it's the closest I've ever got to actually saying it correctly and of course I'd say it correctly when when Tidbits isn't around which is bloody typical isn't it? I've done a little bit of research on this myself on this one, she's left me to it and from what I can see these are the kind of pots you want to be using um, hopefully they'll last until we can put them out but um, if not then we'll see, we will see what happens uh, obviously I'm going to be labelling up as we go along as well if I can find the labels I found labels. I'm not the most organised of people when it comes to when it comes to doing this stuff. It's it's all still quite new to me. I'm used to kind of leaving her to do it, and I kind of do the stuff as and when I'm required. So this is kind of at the moment. This is actually kind of cool that I'm having the chance to learn all this sort of stuff as well. And I think that is something that I've missed out on over the years. And these seeds say these seeds say so by the end of 2019 but as we know she's quite fond of planting her seeds quite um i don't see any reason why we can't use the, why we can't use these uh, we'll see how they turn out i just realized i missed a very important step putting the soil into the pot now as i say she did kind of tell me to go off and do this on my what own i'm doing is i'm looking at I'm looking at pumpkins because obviously some of these are quite pumpkin-y. And in the research I've done, it says that you want to uh, fill a seven and a half centimetre pot, put the seeds on this side in the pot. Now, to save space, I'm going to put two. I'm going to put a seed in each one, and as you can see, at least we have two seeds left over there. So we are going to have to double up on some of these. Now, maybe this is just me being a novice here, but I'm trying to I'm trying to decide whether when it says on its side, does it mean on its thin side like that, or does it mean on its side like that? Because that to me is it's not its side, that's its edge. That's its side. So we're going this way. And then we'll cover them up. We will take our pre-prepared label and we will put that there and that's one I'm so I'm so proud of me take it okay, just taking the soil sp spreading it out I can almost hear everyone kind of, kind of telling me what I'm doing wrong so please if you do know if you do notice any kind of obvious glaring glaring errors please leave them in the notes below in the comments below and Again, this is my first year kind of growing on my Todd. So, I don't know if I'm using the right pots. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong, or, but we will see. In fact, I'm gonna pause there for a second. How many, um, have you started it all? Yeah. I've planted the Avalon ones in here. Right, yeah. Oh, is that the ones, uh, they, they, they were out of date, weren't they? Yeah. So yeah, that's fine, they won't take us, they might not all germinate, but... Okay. But yeah, so I've done the Avalon ones. We are recording, by the way. Okay. I, I, I've spoken to the mistress of the garden and the, god, and the godliness, and apparently I was using the wrong pots. No, last year I did do them like that, but I think because... We are um, running late. 
a little bit yeah we should have done them a couple of weeks ago and it'll be less hassle especially since some of them we have less seeds of we just put one in each pot okay oh yeah by the way cut tip bits has appeared she has uh, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be growing we're going to, i'm going to be transporting them into these pots one we're going to do is the courgette safari f1 now i'm just going to see how many seeds we've got in here Cogetta, cogetta, yada 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 yada. It's alright, folks. I don't have to edit these. He went rogue. I didn't go rogue. You told me to. You told me to set. You told me to set off on my own. With this fire, we only have, again, one, two, three, four. We only got five seeds here. So we'll put them to one side. We'll grab my pen if I can find it. Wait, do I have to do labels for each of the pots, or should I just write on the pots? You can write on the pots. We use me gold or silver pen. Oh, there's one on the stairs. Me pen! Because we don't need hundreds of courgettes, I would probably just do three of those and save the other two in case of the mishap. Those seeds. <laughs> it's me. There's going to be, it's going to be a mishap. So yeah, just do three. Okay, so safari. Do you, ever, do you ever look at a word and think that doesn't look right when you're writing it in capital letters? Yeah. You want to get the other pots over there? Yep. It was just so you're doing three of the same pots for the same variety. Oh. Because otherwise it'll confuse the life out of me. Where do all the pots were? Where do all the pots were? Friendly neighbourhood novice completely lost these pots. Maybe that's why we should subtitle this this section Safari. Hopefully she'll go back and she'll watch the beginning of this video when she wasn't here and realise that I was slightly more organised than this makes me look. Once again, I can feel the comments saying, no, he wasn't. It's it... alright, I'll edit this one when you go home, so I don't murder you. <laughs> <laughs> soil. Soil. Feel the... Keep it nice and gentle. There's the pen lid. And... Now, again, as I said, during my research, which I did this afternoon, it says put the seed on this side. And again, I think that's not the side. I think that's the edge. That's the side. Am I right or wrong? I would disagree with that, but never mind. But how? How deep are you doing them? How deep is your love? I don't know. I've lost the seed already. It's in there. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It that deep. Yes, yeah, fine. <laughs> it's fine, we've got spares. How deep are you doing it? Yes. So we fill up the pot. This is this is actually my favourite part of gardening. I don't know why. I think it's because I get to make a mess and she can't actually moan at me. About that deep? Yeah, yeah, that looks perfect. Well done. So you say put them in on the side like that? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, they're seeds, as long as you don't do something completely absurd, like put them point down, they're probably fine. Was that a dig at my... <laughs> was, was that a dig at my onions? No, that was a dig at your sunflowers. Yeah. No, no, I, I, the sunflowers, <laughs> they were, I realised, because the ones I sent to someone else, they had the same germination issue, so it was nothing you did. Okay. And the other one are a butternut type of squash. This is why she's here because I did not I did not know that. And the seeds I have actually did actually use them last year. The these well, got... these are the ones that we still actually have one in the other room that we've not got around to eating yet. Oh yes. Uh, so the next one we're gonna do is and I bet of course she's sitting here now, I'm not gonna be able to say this. Yuchicha curry. Close enough, Yuchicha. I hope, I kinda hope she goes back and watches that I said that right when I felt when I said it. These are my favourite in the world and we have quite a few of these seeds. Do you want me to do half, half the packet again? Do you want to do another six tray? Yeah, because I mean it just makes you cheeky curry. That basically means that they were fine in 2018, but I did use them last year and they were also fine. We got a couple last year, didn't we? Those are like the little onion shaped ones. Mm -hmm. Onion. And, uh, yeah, I'm just making sure that I can say it. Yeah, basically those, because I have another packet. And that's why I'm not too fussed about those getting used up because I have a spare pack. Oh god, that makes. Does anyone else make a real mess when you're when you're planting this when you when you're soiling? Fine. 
When you're soiling it, or is it just when me? When you're soiling yourself, yes, lots of people do tend to make a mess. I guarantee she leaves that soiling herself joke in. Because Obviously, she made... because I'm funny. Right, we'll do one in each for the moment. And we'll see how many seeds we have left. I think people will be pleased with your progress and how, how, how confident you're getting with the sewing. Comment below. Actually, yeah, I would just like to point out thank you to everyone who did comment on my on the last episode. Whichever it, one that was, because I think I've still got one in the vaults. Do we? Well, yes. Whichever. <laughs> I don't pay attention. I just I just perform like a performing monkey. Trombocino courgettes. Do you want me to use these? Oh yeah, the trombocino are the climbing ones. So oh, the one, the yeah, the long one that kind of just yeah, and we really like those, especially if we have arches, they can go up the arch. Oh yes, do you want me to use? So we've got quite a few seats here, as you can see. Do you want me to? You, do you want me to do another yeah, six? Yeah, do, do another six. It's no, it's no worry about using the seeds. The main thing is some of the germinations might not be as good. Yeah, because the age. But yeah, I mean, I think if you were to go back and look at even even the first video in this series, like, oh, certainly, as I, as I was saying at the beginning, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's going to stay in or not. But I was saying obviously that you've given me kind of a bit more responsibility this year. As opposed to last, as opposed to a couple of years ago, where we had the onion incident. That was the first year, I think. That was the first year, yes. And it's taken her two years to, to, to trust me again. Can you make me a label for trombocino, please? Oh God, some of these seeds are some of these seeds are really, really small. I don't know if you can see that one there. Like some of them feel a lot smaller than others, so I'm assuming they're going to be the ones that have trouble. Germinating. Well, I'm Maybe sure they... some well organized people obviously already have their already have their pots marked up and ready to go. That is not me. Some people have snazzy labels. Some people are weird and don't get confused midway through the season. Sickeningly organized. We'll go with that. Now, I'm not patting this down that much because I'm not sure how whether I'm supposed to or not. I'm just using my big old gorilla hands to scoop a ton of. You want it a little bit compacted, but uh, seeds. I don't... Is it just me, or do, or do these seeds look really cool? I don't know what it is. I, I just like the shape of them. So we'll plant you in there. So we're going to grow the prime. Primavera spaghetti squash in a in a six pack, and we're going to grow the winter Buffy ball F1 squash as well. If you can't experiment once in once in a while, what can you do, eh? And if I suddenly end up with like a buttload of good squash, then yay! Now, are these going straight down to the allotment, or we, get, we have to wait for them to germinate, aren't we? They could do, but I think you'd probably rather I baby them for you, wouldn't you? I could take some of them back with me and baby them. Hmm? I could always take some of them back and baby them. Yeah, that sounds good. Here we go with our Buffy ball. And yes, I'm, all, yes, I'm totally getting the theme tune playing in my brain when I'm saying that. See, I've noticed, I've noticed when I plant stuff, it gives, it's quite relaxing. Even if I do sound quite like I'm going a bit bonkers when I'm doing it. I, I might actually take offence at the name of this one, because I, I struggle to say Pacific. You were the one that picked it. I know, but it, and we're doing two of each of these, aren't we? Yeah. Now, it says on the packet that these get really, really big. It's probably doing two of them. 20, the 27 kilogram. You know, it's like... If I get a giant... If I get a giant squash that's 27 kilograms off my first batch, then I'm going to be laughing my behind off. You'll need a, a 
lot of manure. I was gonna, I was gonna say something. Don't, don't worry, I talk a lot of manure. Maybe you could use the compost that we just saw because it's looking pretty decent. Hmm. Or you could maybe try doing the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, no dig method hmm. in the, you know, somewhere. Yes, I, I'm kind of tempted to try that just because it sounds like a very interesting kind of way of doing it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So that's our giant ones, planted on the 29th of April 2021. I can feel you judging me, boys. You're asleep. If we do the blue bananas next. Now, the really bad thing is, I remember looking at these before we... I remember looking at these, but I can't remember if they're actually blue or banana shaped. They are. You didn't pick those. Did I not? I picked them last year. Okay. No, I just picked the giant ones, didn't I? You picked the red. Uh, you picked any that doesn't look like it came free in something, <laughs> and um, all the rest of them. But there's a load more somewhere if you want to do like uh, just like two of each, one of one of each. Uh, I thought we put all the. I thought we put them all together. No, you went through them and decided you oh. wanted to do some. No. I did have a giant rummage, so nothing is where it's supposed to be anymore. I just had a thought then about what happens if gardeners actually kind of lose a packet halfway through when they're, when they're growing, when they're planting stuff. Because all of these seeds look exactly alike, apart from size. That's the blue banana. I know these are blue banana because they're in green containers. You're welcome. Okay, yeah. Got them. You went through them and discarded these. I'm so sorry. Did you use all the trombo? You didn't, did you? I don't think so, no. Because you put like three in one. Oh, um. Rewind! I'm not sure. I think you might have, because you just sowed uh, at least 15. <laughs> Guys, can you... Can you, um, can you remember how many... Trombocino I planted because I think I, we think I might have planted a lot. They're the climbing ones though. We might have planted a lot. This this is novice. No, this is novice being novice. Overexcited, not really paying paying full attention to what I'm doing, but also paying no attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. As Carl's pointing out, she has managed to locate a few that I apparently decided were no good for this year. And these are the organic tress half long Kusa courgette. Kusa? We will find out when we grow them. The Patterson Blanc Patty Pan Squash. And all these were discussed in the seed or video in January. Go back and watch that. We also have the Ute Indian Winter Squash, which again. Yes, we did, yeah, we discussed all of these, didn't we? Probably with me in general, I think, folks. I'm a bit scatty. I'll do something really objectionable. Go on. I'd go and fish some seeds out of that trombo packet so we have some for next year. Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to interfere, but I'm going to. We also don't need, we also don't need, like, 15 trombocino. Can't find them. Can't find them. They're definitely in there. Can't find them. Oh, dear. I mean, three, t three types of three types of courgette are going to be it should be fine. That, again, that's all. De that's all depends on what. I, it's you? basically because I like variety. Mhm. Mm and obviously, they're going to taste different than things as well, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no, that's four. I'm not going for four. We're going for two. Don't you hate it when your seeds get overexcited and all just jump out the packet? All the trombocino, all the trombocino, decided to vanish. Very dreary, dreary, deep. Because I have big fingers, really big hands. Isn't it so much better when I just shut the hell up? Uh, so, Ute Squash. We're doing now, of course. 
why would I only pull out two seats? Why would I only pull out two seats when I can pull out six? So again, these are quite big seats. They're, they're quite cool size. So we'll put them in. Cover them up. Finally, we have the patty pans. Now these ones are actually a lot smaller in terms of seeds. Uh, the patty pan are like round and flat, like flying saucers. Oh, cool! Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I probably knew that when I picked them out, but no, I've, I got those. I'm okay. persuaded to get those. Okay, there we go, folks. We have planted uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah, we planted about eleven varieties. There's 17 individual pots and four batches of six pots. So, <coughs> the may be broken at the sheer number. Uh, right, what, I'm, what I'm learning this year, folks, is that I really have a excitement problem. <laughs> planty, 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 just keep... Apparently my brain cannot decide to stop planting stuff. So, but you, that was just a couple of each, wasn't it? The only ones yeah. that you planted them all of were older ones. Yeah, I mean, realist realistically, we're going to probably end up with a lot of with some of them that don't, um, with some of them that don't germinate, some of them that probably kill. I kill, some of them that probably get eaten over the by birds and things as well. So, yeah, if we if we do end up with essentially. 40 plus uh, squash and um, squash and stuff and um, do that later but this is the glamorous assistant for Kara's tidbits saying thank you for watching please like subscribe share and comment we look forward to seeing you soon and I'm sure she's going to edit this to make me look like a I'm sure she's got it. Thank you very much for watching, guys.